So you want to go camping, but you can't afford a Mercedes Sprinter van. I might have a solution for you. Hyundai i30 vanning. The hatchback life. It's, it's kind of hard. I'm not going to lie to you. It's cramped, but I'm six foot two, and if I can do it, then anyone can. It's also a lot of fun, and you can camp anywhere for free, basically, because no one suspects you of being a camper van. For this project took me only six days and I managed to do it entirely for uh, under a hundred dollars actually cost me only seventy five dollars um, the wood on this um, piece that you're looking at here which is the front section of the bed was entirely free pallets that came from the industrial section of the town that I live in um, and that's actually a really good source of wood if you're looking for any to do any kind of DIY projects you can get free pallets pretty much anywhere I built the bed in two sections. The front section here I'm inserting where the passenger seat next to the driver's seat used to be. Um, it was quite disappointing to have to take out that passenger seat, but I decided since I'm six foot two, I really, really needed that extra, um, that extra head space and to be able to stretch out and not have to worry about like the length of the bed. This is a hatchback bear in mind, so <laughs> it's a tiny car. I'm really lucky to have a sister who does upholstery um, and so she was able to upholster these cushions which I cut up from a foam mattress that I got for 50 bucks and that was the biggest cost in the entire build. <laughs> well my cooking was done on a two burner camping stove which I did have to slightly modify so that it would um, lift and the lid would stay up underneath. Um, underneath the boot lid there. The stove is connected to a gas bottle underneath the shelving unit and this is what the bed looks like set up. Um, honestly really cute, I bought this cushion just for this, I love it. Um, and it can be reversed, I'll often have the head of the bed facing outwards and I'll remove the cargo barrier entirely so that I can actually um, uh, look out and have the boot up and have the car like reversed onto the view which is, which is definitely the best way to sleep. So if you don't want to buy a van or you can't afford it, don't let that stop you. I did it in a Hyundai i30, so you definitely can with whatever you've got available. Um, get out there and get traveling if you're keen to. And uh, yeah, these are a couple of my favorite campsites that I've stopped at um, at various times. This here, I nearly died. I was like, this is so beautiful. 360 views. I won't tell you where it is. It's a secret location somewhere on the coast of Australia. Um, it's a hang gliding site. So get out there and make it happen. <laughs>